Hi everyone, Mitchell Simmer here. Welcome back to RB Jets Marais Pass series. This is scenario 26, Summit to Glacier Park. It says it's easy and will take about 40 minutes. So our freight just went through and now the line is clear for you to make your run up to Glacier Park to drop off some stock and reclaim some empty wagons. Hey 3432, here's your next order. You reach out the window and grab it. The return to Whitefish consist should have been in freight for a while, so you're clear line up to Glacier Park. I don't understand why my brakes aren't working. Lumber Flats needs switched out on balloon track. Reverse via Summit Balloon 2439 East. Add loaded stock to back on Summit Balloon 2439 siding speed at 10 miles per hour. So let's take a look. We've got about 13 steps. So we're going via Summit Balloon East. Let's take a look at the map. Summit Balloon 2439 East. So let's see, where are we? Alright, so we are there. Alright, and then we're going to couple it to the back. Alright, so let's just make sure we're good. So yeah, we want to go that way. And then we're going via east, so... going to be interesting, that's for sure. Alright, so we're headed that way. So I think we're going backwards. So let's just make sure. that I'm headed in the right direction because I'm not sure which engine I'm in no, actually I want to go the other way wait a minute So no, I think I was going the right way, I just didn't have enough speed. Because in theory we're in 3432, which is this one. Yeah, there we go. So we just didn't have enough power to be moving. careful. And again, it's a 10 mile an hour loop, so I do want to be careful. So yeah, it says it's easy, but seems a little harder than easy, so we'll see. But we are going via Summit Balloon East. I just need to be careful here that I don't go too fast. Right, because now I think we're flattening out is the issue. Because now we can only go 10. So we've got those cars back there, so basically we're going to have the engine in the middle. And then I think we're dropping those four cars somewhere. Almost went too fast again. So let me be careful. So there we go. 
we're going to couple that to the back. This is to the back of yard work, which is a little bit misleading because normally it gives us an engine number, but so yeah, they definitely looks like they had to kind of blast this out of the surrounding landscape, but obviously you've got to do what you can when you're in the in the space you've been given. So now we're flat, which would make sense, because if you're going to go through this effort, I would assume you're going to do things that place it appropriately and make it flat. And I think we're going to leave these four here is what was happening. So we're just basically picking up the ones with logs and then leaving the others. So, but the summit balloon. Alright. So, just want to slow down so that I'm not going too fast. Alright, that should work. Then we'll see what we need to do, but I think we kind of reading ahead, you know, we're going to couple those, but then we're going to drop off these at Summit Balloons. So I think we couple and then immediately drop the back. Okay, drop empty wagons, then continue to and hold at Summit Point S. Alright, so I want to drop the back four. There we go. going. So let me just go there. Where is Summit Point S? Okay, so we're going to stop at Summit Point S. Alright. careful. And then I'm sure they're going to put those logs on. But yes, I want to speed up a bit here if I can. But obviously want to be careful that I don't blow by the uh, the speed because I think we're also going downhill shortly, so once I got up to the balloon here I was having a bit All right. then I was having a bit of a flatness once I got here but other than that it was downhill getting up here so I just need to be careful Now, still point two, but yeah, there we go. We're going to summit point S. It's point three two miles away, so not too far. But it looks like we're good. Point five, point six, you know, point seven, and this is not uphill, so I'm imagining pretty soon we're going to start accelerating. But I should, 
There we go. I was going to say I should be able to go more than 10 in a bit here. So, Summit Balloon Lead. Okay, signal is green. Obviously that one's red because the switch is up for us now. So, let me just make sure I can stop myself if I need to. And looks like it's not too difficult. I can get that deceleration going pretty quickly. So as soon as we pass, that should switch to red. There we go. Alright, so 0.7, so I'm sure we just have to hold at that point there. So let me right. change this out. See, I do think I need to go a little bit further. I should get this whole train in that space. So that should get us there. All right, so now we'll wait a bit. And then we're going to go via Summit Main. So we're going several places. All right. Currently coupled stock is for an eastbound freight. It will be picked up in Glacier Park. Head north via Summit Main. Now so head north, which would be there. So yeah, show task. All right. So I'm headed up that way. It looks like I'm switched for that now. I am. So we'll flip around. And then we'll start climbing. go. But yeah, we've got a little ways to go here. But that will get us up there probably relatively quickly. And it's two miles, but then I think we could keep continuing for a while. Once we get moving, shouldn't be too bad. So, gonna be going by the balloon point pretty quickly. Because, yeah, it's still point, point two here, so. Alright, but now we can go up to 40 actually, so. Go ahead and move ourselves along a bit. But yeah, it looks like kind of mid-afternoon, 327. So lower ourselves down here. See if once the engine rolls down, if we'll be able to keep speeding up at 13% or not. Looks like we can. I don't know that we need to go much faster. But I think that's Summit Main coming up. Okay, at this point we are going... Here's we're going downhill. 
now it's flattened out. So, not sure if it's around that turn entirely, or how far we need to go till we get to Summit Main 1. I think we're accelerating, which obviously we don't want to be doing. Just try to be careful here. But yeah, now it's a 1% grade and heading down, so that will definitely move me along. Looks like it's flattening out a bit, 0.7. just a question of how much further till the next point but now we've got the single track heading up or through the mountains there there we go so now we're going six and a half miles so we've got a good way to go and obviously Hence the time, but 0.9, so the grade is increased. There we go, slow down a bit. See if we can kind of flatten this out a little bit. We're slowly creeping up, so I have a little bit of time before I need to turn it up further. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's see. If I go down to 23, will that be better? No, it's still... Well, now we're going on a 1.1% grade is the issue, so... The grade increased... basic traversal here. Alright, well now I'm slowing down too much. But definitely a lot of meandering as tracks in the mountains would tend to do, I would think. go to 21, it slows me down pretty quickly, but if I go too much lower, then I basically don't have brakes at 14%. Looks like, not sure what that is, rocks? I guess they're rocks. Alright, so 19 is slowing us down. I'm sure will let us speed up again. I think this was the part we had gone by with the access road coming from the road. So it kind of seems like we're maybe running some cars around now that the line is open. It's kind of what the wording seemed to indicate. Alright, we're still increasing, but that's, I think, because we went up to 1%. So, we can see where we're headed. I think in the next signal, means we're, whoops, we are 
Gonna have to stop unless something changes, but see how everything pans out, I guess. But a lot of meandering as obviously the railroad line tries to stick along the hillside. To level, so I should be able to drop that. Although now I assume we're headed back down. Maybe we're headed. Actually, we're headed up. All right. So if I put a little power on, all right, a little bit more. We'll see what that does. It's probably going to be too much. It's not speeding up too badly. All right, and it looks like we can go 50 in a little bit, not too far ahead. So let's see, we'll drop back down there. But yeah, that slows us down. So the throttle seems to have a much less linear acceleration. I mean, obviously I go from 13% to 25, and that greatly changes the dynamic of how it's working. Still 0.8. Signal will be up here. That'll be where we'll be. Actually, it doesn't look like it's at a signal, but I think it's where those posts are. Alright, it's starting to speed up a bit, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's those right there. There we go. Once our cars get through, there we go. Now we can go a little bit faster. So this is Bison West, Main 1. But we're going via Bison East, Main 2. So it's kind of a long way with the switcher. Alright, everything looks green. So, just need to be careful. Just given the speed, yes, it does look like we are in fact going downhill. So, there we go. Bison East appears. And we're still just going via, so I'm assuming it's going to be past that turn there. double track here. See how everything moves along. Another access road coming up here to the train right of way. Let's see if I put it at 21. It's holding a little better, but... Looks like I need to go to 22, but I can't. <laughs> Although now it looks like 21 is still slowing us down. I 
can't really tell if I'm going down or up. I think I'm going down, hence the need for the brakes. And it looks like then maybe we're going back down to one track again. Everything is still green on the signal. How far we have to go after this? Four and a quarter miles. So if we can stay at 50, it'll go relatively quickly. Alright, so we'll go to 25, so let's see. Now we're going to drop things off. We're going to stop. So definitely, again, a few different activities going on. Yeah, we're pretty elevated up here. So yeah, 22 slows me down. Or 22 doesn't slow me down enough. 24 slows me down. So, it just seems to be this constant dance where I can't quite get to where I need. Because see, now 22, oh, but now we're 1.44, so... But 28, too much. 24, not enough. What about 26? Alright, 28. So it just seems I'm always in some sort of in-between spot. Alright, in a mile, a little over a mile, I've got a slow down to 35, so I need to be aware of that. I'm sure that's what that sign is telling me. So it's the warning that it's about a mile away. Still going 1.2 on the grade. So going down a 1.2, not really going 1.2. I even confused myself the way I said it, so sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so we'll get ourselves slowed down. Not quite yet enough, so we don't need to be yet. But now we're closer, and we're still slowing down a bit, which is important. Because, yeah, now it's caution. So I do want to be careful. Alright. So right up there is where it's going to switch. We're on an even grade right now. So there we go, down to 35. Maybe just because of this turn, although I'm not seeing anything else. So we're going to go via Glacier Park number 2200, and then we might still be continuing. Alright, so I do need to be careful, because again, I'm accelerating. not enough, and 22 is too much. Back in that same little dance we do as we drive the train. So yeah, speeding up again, slowing down again, but we're a mile and a half. I think we're getting close. Seven. So this is allowing it to speed up a bit. So 
weaving through the woods. There's this, the town, I think. Glacier Park, or the depot, whatever it is, that we're heading toward. But a mile away. So I guess between the meandering, that's what a mile looks like. There's a good, good amount that we're probably going to have to do in that yard still. But now it's down to 0.6. So I'm guessing we got to go across the bridge before we get there. It's slowly speeding up, which is fine. We'll have to be 15 though, once we get there, so I guess I do want to be a bit careful, because that'll be there before we know it. Alright, back that off a bit, so now we're down to 20, so yeah, I'm guessing we're kind of going to move over as we get closer. So you know, this is the part, like... Because, yeah, I guess we can't go straight, but blinking red, I think, is like... You know, we're, we're going, per se. I like the shadows down on the rocks from the the light. Alright, so I think we're going to go over here. There we go. So, 15 a little bit early. here in one of the other scenarios and left something here. So yeah, we're climbing. Let's see. Are we still accelerating? A little bit. But once we get there... Then we're going to drop off at Glacier Park Y, West Y 2203. So that's where we're at. Okay, drop stock for eastbound freight on Glacier Park West Y. So I'm thinking that's it there. Oh, no. Alright. So how do I do that? Am I going the wrong way? I don't understand. Because if I drop it, then I'll be... Or can I go forward somehow? Whoops. I don't want to be stopping that much, so I guess let me go center myself here. So yeah, maybe I go forward and then couple onto that. Hmm. It's supposed to be easy, so it shouldn't be that complex. Yeah, that's Glacier Park West Y. This is not, so let me make sure I'm not going too fast. Alright, 
it's set correctly, even though it doesn't look like it is, but... I didn't realize that was going to be 10. I should have known, I guess, but... definitely where we want to be. So... We'll get over there. But yeah, I think I'm going there and then reversing at the head end of the Y. that. Okay, pull forward and hold at the Y tail. So I just need to go far enough that I'm getting into that space. other stuff. So, there we go. Alright. And then we're going to couple to the back, which, again, is this is the one we're on. And then we're going to stop at 2200, couple a couple, go from there. So, Alright, clear local sidings. First add to back empties on 2204. Yep, that is them. So let me make sure, because now I do need to switch. So that part isn't easy. Alright, so be dropping down shortly. And it's to the back, hence we're going reversed. So I'm wondering if I'm going to get those and those. So, slow this down. If I drop that... Either way, I think I'll get far enough that I can connect. So definitely want to come up slowly. Might need a little bit of encouragement. go. These empties need taken back to Summit. Reverse, clear switch, and hold at Glacier Park 22. Alright, so hold on. Let me see where I'm at. So stop at 2200 East. Alright, so there we go. So I'm going to go there and stop there. Alright, 
so. Keep going in the direction we were headed. We'll probably get there before we know it. It looks like it's much further away, but it's telling me just 0.17, so. That isn't per se that far. So, let me be careful here. Definitely need to get past the switch. Yeah, now we're at point one one. So yeah, I don't think it'll be nearly as far as one would think. I think it's just going to be past the switch here. Which would make sense. It does seem like it's a little bit further than I would normally want to head, but it should hopefully be enough there. Turn it around, and then we're going to couple to the front those two. So I need to go here, change this. Okay, Glacier 2200 needs cleared for coming freight. Add to front both center beam wagons. So there we go. So we'll drop that off, and then we'll head in this direction. But at this point, we can also go 15, so that's quicker. Should slow down because I'm going uphill. At least I thought I was. I guess not. All right, so I'm closing this gap pretty quickly. So let me fix that before I really have a problem. All right. So now we'll see if we are going downhill because I guess we are. All right because it will speed up again, which is obviously what it is doing. So, we've got a friend of ours waiting there to help us couple up. Getting close. Alright, pull forward and wait for instructions on Glacier Track Siding 10. Or Siding Speed 10, so... Gonna head that way. Just make sure... Glacier Park Hole Track... Okay, so I want to go there. So yes, this is set. This, however, is not. So, there we go. That should get me where I need. Again, going faster than I should be. Or will be soon. Because that's going to be a 10. We know that. We're going to hit that before we know it.
So, we'll see. 15. It's going to let us go a little quicker. 21. It's a little bit better. 27. Keeps us where we need to be. So, there we go. So, we're going to get ourselves moved over here. And that will be the end. So slowly arriving where we need to be. A little bit of circular yard work, but it's like, wow, a 2% slope, so I got a little crazy. 27 wasn't really helping. There we go. 37. just need to stop. We should be good. Alright. So that will end this scenario. I think I've got more yard work coming up in the next one. So I'll be seeing you there in a little bit, I'm sure. Hold here for the lumber freight to arrive. Then you can add on that full stock before you head back to Summit. Up next, Yardwork Blacktail Essex. Scenario complete. Alright, so speeding twice, but other than that, did what we needed to do. So I'll see you next time.